Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, we are going to see an important topic in toxicology and it is the first basic uh, topic in toxicology that is uh, classification of poison. So uh, before seeing what is classification of poison, um, let's see about the definition of toxicology as this is the introduction video of toxicology. Let's see the um, basic definition of toxicology. So toxicology, it is the science dealing with properties, action, toxic, toxicity, fatal dose, detection, estimation, treatment and autopsy findings in case of death. That is if the uh, patient dies, then autopsy findings in case of death in relation to the poisonous substance. So if a person uh, inhales or uh, ingests uh, by, uh, by uh, eating or something, if the person has a uh, poison, uh, we are going to, uh, it deals with the signs uh, that is the properties, actions, toxicity, uh, fatal dose, detection, estimation, treatment and autopsy findings in case of death. So this is what is toxicology. Uh, here we said the poisonous substance. So now let us see what a poison means. So a poison, it is a substance, either solid or liquid or gas, if introduced or brought in contact with the living body, uh, produces Ill, Ill health or death by its constitution or local effects. So if a poison, if a substance that is uh, poisonous to a person, when it is brought in contact to the person, uh, either by uh, ingestion or inhalation or uh, any way, or by like snake bites or something like that, it is called as poison. So uh, now let us finally come to the classification of poison. Uh, so the classification of poison, we are going to uh, we are going to see classification of poison in three headings. That is based on nature of poison and second thing is uh, based on manner of use and third thing is based on source of poison. So uh, basically the last two, the second uh, and the third one will be very easy. But for the uh, first thing that is based on nature of poison, we have to remember a mnemonic called uh, SINCAM, C-I-N-C-A-M. So let us uh, abbreviate it. That is uh, C, first C is corrosives and then I is irritants. N is neurotics, C is cardiac, uh, that is cardiac poison, and then uh, A is asphyxiant, and uh, M is miscellaneous. So first let us see about the first C, that is corrosive. Uh, so corrosives are uh, poisons that produce inflammation and ulceration of the tissues. So in this inflammation and ulceration, both the terms are important. Uh, then the manifestation, that clinical manifestation, that is the signs and symptoms are like uh, fast. So uh, it is further classified into three, that is strong acids, strong alkali and metallic salts. Under uh, strong acids, uh, you have uh, mineral or um, inorganic uh, and then uh, that is mineral or inorganic acids and then organic acids. So in uh, mineral or inorganic acids, you can remember H2SO4, HCl, HNO3 uh, and in organic acids, you can remember carbolic acid and acetic acid. Uh, next is uh, strong alkali that is caustic soda and caustic potash, uh, metallic salts that is zinc chloride and ferric chloride. So this is what is corrosive. Next let us come to the next thing that is I. In syncam, next we are going to see about the I. So I is irritants, uh, these cause inflammation of GIT and other symptoms and the manifestation that is clinical manifestations are uh, comparatively slow. So in this we are going to see uh, again three subdivisions that is uh, inorganic, organic and mechanic, mechanical. Uh, so in inorganic irritants it is going to be arsenic, lead and uh, uh, mercury. So we have already put uh, lead poisoning in the channel, you can go and see that. And next is organic. So in organic, uh, we have plants, that is plant uh, plant irritants, that is calotropis, and animal irritants, that is snake. Again, we have already put a video on snake. You can also go and see that. Um, and then uh, finally, uh, the third one is going to be mechanical. So it is going to be powdered glass or dust or needle, something like that. Next, we are going to come to the third one, that is yen. Uh, so it is neurotics. So from the name itself, you can guess that it is going to act on CNS. So uh, neurotics is uh, again uh, divided into uh, three parts that is cerebral, spinal and peripheral. Uh, 
so in cerebral it is going to be somniferous that is example opioids inebrin inebriants that is uh, alcohol and deli delirians that is zatura cannabis and coca uh, cocaine uh, next is uh, spinal you have to remember this that is nux vomica and uh, peripheral that is peripheral neurotics and this is spinal neurotics uh, so in peripheral that is curare and conium next let us come to the uh, fourth thing that is in syncam the fourth c that is cardiac so this is going uh, from the name itself you can find it out so it is going to act on the heart directly or indirectly uh, example is digitalis and next uh, we are going to see about the asphyxians so these are substances that deprive the body of oxygen uh, so asphyxians are uh, substances that uh, cause uh, pulselessness because of uh, the body not getting the required oxygen uh, the person finally goes into pulseness pulselessness and death so this is what is asphyxia so asphyxian po asphyxia poison is something that uh, derive uh, deprives the body of oxygen and because of that the person dies finally the last one m that is uh, miscellaneous so in miscellaneous we are going to see about agrochemicals uh, drug of dependence petroleum products uh, food poisoning and um, others so with this we come to the uh, like we finished one part of the video that is based on nature of poison is over so second let us see about the based on uh, manner of use so in manner of use uh, uh, the poisons are generally used for suicidal purpose or homicidal uh, purpose or accidental abortifacient and um, stu stupefying and cattle poison arrow poison and used for uh, fabricating any injury or something next let us see about the third type of uh, classification that is based on source of poison so the poison is uh, it might be industrial or ag agricultural environmental household food and drink poison and drug and medicine poison so with this uh, i would like to end today's video thank you so much guys for watching uh, do subscribe to the channel for more such videos and uh, share it thank you